Look at all of them. Welcome back, everybody. This is DLoner08, and I am back on the Haha ha Sienda server. And my floor has become shulker boxes, apparently. <laughs> so unorganized. I think I'm going to get working on a storage system up there next episode. But this episode, I want to go back to the Guardian temple area place thing right over there. You can kind of see there. I don't know what those things are called. They're like feelers, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I got the poop shoots done, guys, and I want to show you those. These guys are so glorious. <laughs> Here's the poop shoots. I'm going to call them that from now on. And uh, the farm is pretty efficient as long as, you know, there's a lot, not a lot of mobs loaded in, which probably are over at Buster's place because he's on right now. But yeah, it, it works out pretty good. I'll show you guys how it works. Uh, sometimes they swim that way, but it's fine because they always end up in the hole. So it works out in the end. <laughs> I've made just like a temporary killing chamber down here. It's not too pretty. It's just all this gray concrete. And yeah, they just... Well, I've got them dying right now, but <laughs> if we open up the... I've got some pistons putting some blocks there, and they just die in lava, and their drops destroy, get destroyed. But it's fine. I'm not looking at this farm to be too efficient. Did I just... I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> I thought I picked up some of this, uh, some of this fish. But yeah, you just uh, sit down here, let them all build up, and then you just smack them. Sometimes it's hard to smack them. And the, the XP is really good, as you guys see. I have 49 levels. It's kind of insane <laughs> at how efficient these are. But, I mean, they do hurt you. And you have to remember to eat. And yeah, you can die pretty quickly down here with these guys and their thorns. Yeah, I, I had a couple dirt moments building this. And uh, I, I know... That was weird. <laughs> and I know... Uh, I showed a clip of that at the beginning of me getting stuck in the killing chamber. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. I don't think I have anything in the dropper now. I don't. Okay. But yeah, this is the killing chamber. Uh, it's kind of like right up against the slime chunk farm thing. But I'm going to make that look a little bit better in the future. I'm not too worried about it right now. But I do want to get started on this thing here. I know I said I was going to put the storage center over there and just leave it above ground and then just put some stuff in front of it. But I figured, why don't we build a structure to put it in? That's, you know, in almost every aquarium that you can think of. And it's, it's going to be put right here. It's a 16 by 16 build. I think this is far enough away from these other two guys. It's also going to come back a little bit, like maybe here here so it should be too close yeah it's it's not gonna be too bad looking i don't think i built it in a creative world and i'm gonna go ahead and try to get my camera account on here and record me building it so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on that i'm also going to be working on the floor this episode we're gonna be getting rid of these slabs and we're gonna be putting in some some decorative rock because <laughs> you know every aquarium has some really colorful rocks and I'm thinking just to offset this green and cyan and blue we're going to use those colors so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grind some materials for those and I've got to build up the, the structure here <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pull the camera count on you guys should be hearing some music and I hope you enjoy the time lapse guys <laughs>
Okay guys, so what do you think? <laughs> Just derpy. Super derpy treasure chest. <laughs> I'm going to be putting some blocks around it because you, you kind of can't just jump in it and I don't want I don't want you to be able to just uh, you know walk through blocks here break blocks to go in there I had to go make some more supplies halfway through ran out of a lot of stuff it's crazy uh, I'm not gonna need any of this stuff right here I might need that just in case there's some baddies around um, let's head over here and see if I've got some yellow I do not have any yellow, really. I'm going to put some yellow up there for like a, a buckle so it can close. <laughs> it's Minecraft. It's not going to close, but we're going to go ahead and start putting the floor in. So I'm going to head back over to my camera account. Okay guys, I am back. I did a little bit off camera. <laughs> you guys will see. Um, I'm ready to turn around and show you. I'm pretty excited how this turned out. Uh, I love it so much. Just, just <laughs> bam. I did a lot off camera. <laughs> I put in some seaweed, some rocks. I almost died right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Elytra failed me. Stupid Elytra. But yeah, I put in some seaweed. I've got the floor in super colorful I added some gold and some diamond blocks to this I think it looks pretty good <laughs> it's a little bit of treasure just seeping out there that's how we're gonna get in and out of the treasure chest I'm gonna work on the storage system here in a minute but I added some you know little different levels here kinda like a normal fish tank sometimes when you clean it out you got that like that long tube that comes down and it messes up the bottom and the fish burrow underneath and yeah <laughs> I need to actually I think I have a little bit of glass on me there we go gotta fix that um I also raised it up over here and then dropped it down in the corner and then I put some lamps on the outside here all the way around because this right here isn't actually part of the temple so mobs can spawn on this area in darkness but nowhere else in the you know temple area so I had to put you know, row of blocks on the outside. I am going to put probably some gray on the outside and then up one block and then all the way down to, you know, the bottom of the ocean floor to make it look like it's on a stand. So I also worked on some redstone for the killing mechanism. Before I had it to where pisses just, you know, close the doors and then they just swam in lava until they died. But if you flick this lever now, and then we kill off some of these guys. Okay. You can see that they're going to be dropping... Yes, you kind of see them. Past the XP orbs. If we just wait a second. Okay, they're falling down. That is going all the way down to bedrock. And it, they're, you know, burning to death, essentially. Because they didn't... They don't take enough fall damage to kill them. Because we're at... What? 29? So, that's... It's like 24 blocks or so and they weren't dying so I think it's because I reset them with this because they burn and then they hit the water and then they get pushed outward so it puts them out on fire and then I have them going through another lava source block and falling and they burn up so that means that we're gonna get some 
cooked fish because they burn to death instead of take fall damage. So I don't have to waste all that fuel on cooking the fish. So I get, you know, free cooked fish, which works out really well. Um, I don't have a collection chamber down there yet. I'm going to go ahead and work on that here in a minute. And yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get that working out. And then I'm going to get the item elevators built. And then I'm going to get the chests put in. And then I'm going to come back with you guys. Okay, guys, I have been doing a little bit of work down here. This is the slime chunk, of course. And down here, I've got the drops coming in from the guardian farm. They just whiz past here. I was collecting them here. And just as I was building this, this is all that I got, which is super, super efficient. Now there's some junk in there. But yeah, this is pretty dang efficient. Do we need to top off on fish? Why not? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's amazing. Gives me really, really high hopes for this. And I've got... Let me see. I think I need to... Yeah, I'll put up... I'll put a, uh, a hopper in there. I might have to... Uh, I may have to move this over and have it come straight down. Because this chest is going to be in the way. But that's fine. So if I take... 24 cobble there, and I can't really put any cobble in there right now. But if I if I go back up to the top, takes a minute to get up there. <laughs> I don't have a quick access, but that one was in the slime ball one, and I've had the other one running for a little bit, so we should have some over at the chest. I hope. <laughs> I've just got a, it's a double item elevator over here. I didn't want to do just one. Yeah, you can see them coming up. See? That's pretty cool. I didn't want to do just one and then split it up here because I don't know. That just didn't feel right to me. Because I've got the two farms separated. I ran out of lime. That's why that's there. And I'm going to build these up to close to the like where that brown ring goes or ring up. Yeah, that brown, brown part right there. And it's going to come around, and I'm going to put the storage systems here and here. Uh, the, this little stepping area kind of hindered my storage space, so that's why I put the slime over here, because I'm not going to need that much slime. So we got a little bit of a loss here, which is okay for the slime farm. I'm not too worried. And then, you know, this one was running for just a little while. So, yeah, that works out really, really, really good. I'm super happy with this, but I am actually out of time for this episode i have put so much time into this dang fish tank that i just want to finish it and <laughs> stop recording on it because i want to do other projects there's the base over there that i need to finish and then i want to start on mob farms and you know like hostile mob farms creeper farm uh, i've got an idea for cow farm i need to work on a sugarcane farm <laughs> there's just so many things that i want to work on here in this area so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here guys and if you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>